All right, folks, I know it's been a minute. I know it's been a minute, but I am here in America Truck Simulator. Yes, this is a live stream, folks. It's been a long time since I've been doing this, but, uh, you know, I've been busy. I've been busy a little bit, for sure, you know, with work and everything and, you know, um, home life and, you know, trying to get ready for the holidays, you know, Thanksgiving, you know, Christmas up. You know, it's a lot, lot going on. So, um, so... Nonetheless, we here, uh, as you see here, we have the uh, Western Star 4900, 4900, Western Star 49X for America Truck Simulator, you see there. Uh, this is the SCS version. Um, in the back, you see their new uh, milk trailer. Um, they had they added a few um, trailers there. Uh, that is the their milk trailer um, with the wooden low boy. So, uh, looking good, looking good. Yeah, it's been a while, Art Gamer, man. It's been a minute. Like I said, I've been busy, so, um, I've been busy with working. You know, as you know, I did Amazon. Um, unfortunately, though, I'm not doing it no more. I mean, I guess technically if they ask me to come back. I probably could with no problem. Um, but you don't like the sounds of this truck? So we are going over to uh, Selena, Utah from Ukiah. So, not that long of a run, really. Um, just 830-something miles. Going to be a little short one today. So what's, your, so, what's your favorite truck so far in the game? Yeah, it's been a minute since I streamed this, though. Yeah, they are kind of terrible. Uh, I haven't really looked up to see if anybody got any engine mods. You need to let me know if somebody does. Hey, Mike goes boom. How you doing, man? Okay, so they do got engine mods for this truck right now. Oh, you are? What load you carrying, Mike? Hey, Dalton, what's up, man? You say you need to fix OBS? What's going on with it? Oh, okay. We like what are you in the cargo market?
Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check it out. Yeah, I was just wondering that too, and I was just checking the Steam Workshop for um, sound mods. I, I, I didn't, I couldn't find it. Uh, I'm on 1.39, yeah. Now it's 1.39, is that fully released now? To, uh, just tell me where to look for it at. I wonder if my game updated because um, I manually put it in the beta mode and um, I didn't switch it over before I started this game so I don't know. Okay, just type in his name, it, it probably come up, huh? See, I'm trying to read this and drive at the same time. You said, you said, how, how, how long after the nursery route did you get your next route? Um, well, well, Mike, every DSP is different. Um, pretty much my nursery route, because it was like nursery route level one and then nursery route level two um and then as you sure already know level one is you know lows you do at 50 percent of the capacity so which is about like three days or three ships and then you go up to 75 percent which is for like your next three ships and then after that you're full-blown regular ships so um I was just scheduled when I first started. I was just scheduled four days a week. You know, it wasn't no break between routes, you know. like this truck is like on ice like it's hard for me to like s steer it steadily you know be 
But yeah, Mike, it wasn't. I didn't have no break between shift. Actually, I think my first week I worked. Um, I worked like Sunday. I think like Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. That was my first week. might have to contact your DSP for your schedule um, they're the ones that will know it um, like I said in my situation though I already knew my schedule because uh, my DSP pretty much told us uh, but yeah you pretty much just have to contact your DSP and uh, have them look it up so that you'll know when it is or when your next shift is I think I'll have to turn down weather quality or maybe it's just because I'm going through the city here uh, let's see my weather quality should be already turned down yeah it's pretty low let's turn that down that may not do nothing but uh, well it depends Mike if your I hope they'll if your um if your DSP puts it in the Flex app, you can just go on the Flex app and it'll tell you exactly what days you work. Uh, but more than likely, it's not in there, which at that point, you'll just have to call them and then they'll tell you. But I'm pretty sure as long as you don't say nothing to them, they'll schedule you four days if that's what you want. You know, because... Uh, they like to keep you right at 40 hours, so you figure four days, 10 hour shifts. Yeah, somebody else told me my schedule, my DSP did. I think it was the first week was the only time that I was able to uh, see my schedule in the app. Um, and then after that, I had to pretty much ask my uh, DSP. No, I don't call it dispatch. You call your DSP. They're the ones that write your schedule. Amazon don't do that.
Yeah, sorry about that, man. My mic messed up. My mic goes in and out a lot of times. But, uh, yo, I did get your message. Um, but, no, what I was saying is that when I was full force, uh, when I was full force delivering packages, like doing my full route, um, I was easily doing 175 to 200 stops a day um and that's 250 packages at least you know um so it's a lot um it doesn't get easy it, it trust me when i tell you it does not get easy um i i understood i understand why a lot of people quit um i definitely understand why a lot of people quit doing Amazon because it's hard work man and you can't go into this thinking that it's a driving job because it's not you know it's definitely not a driving job if you go into it thinking that you're gonna be mistaken I'm telling you because you figure you might only drive 50 miles a day but you're getting out of, in and out of the car about 200 times a day so and I think I was averaging like four to six miles a day just walking getting in and out of the van you know delivering packages to these people houses you know um yeah all right gamer my mic keeps going in and out i'm not sure if it's the mic itself or it's the computer um i have to always keep unplugging it and plugging it back in Uh, no, like I said, Mike, it could be 250 stops. Um, uh, far as totes, I've had as many as 19 totes. Or what you're referring to, bags. I had about 18, 19 of them. Now, granted, you get some totes that only got like two or three things in there. You know, which you'll be excited when you see that. Um, but sometimes I've had 19 totes where they were all pretty full, you know, and, you know, like I said, I, I can understand why people quit, because like I said, that job is not for everybody. Hey, Joker Face, how you doing, man? Oh, yeah, that's your nursery, that's a low nursery route. I think my first day I had, like, eight totes and like a hundred packages but trust me man that's gonna grow don't get used to that because you're gonna be doing and it gets full especially now because it's about to be the holidays you know people are doing holiday shopping it's gonna pick up man it's gonna get to the point where it's gonna feel like every stop got like two packages fifteen dollars $15 an hour, which I think is pretty much across the board. Unless you get a DSP that's probably very generous. Then you probably will get paid a little more, but... I'm doing alright, man. Just decided to hop on here and do a little trucking real quick. Hey, joke face. I was going to ask you, man. Um, How did you end up purchasing... Uh, JBX Graphics, did you go through Facebook? Yeah, Mike, man, it's going to pick up. It is going to pick up, I tell you that. And some days you're going to feel like you want to quit. Because, um, like I said, it's not easy. It is definitely not easy. Only two months. Yep, I only worked there two months. I started 
day one of our launch, which was like September 6th or something like that. And technically, I just left them last week, so. It's been about two months. And I wanted to stick it out much longer, but. I just did, did, did I couldn't work with it just because of the schedule, you know. I have I have too many um, uh, priorities at home, I guess you could say, you know. Um, the schedule just wasn't gonna work with me, you know. Cause like I said, they require you to work ten hour shifts, you know, and it's at odd times of the day, you know. And then not only that, you know, I'm not very well with seeing at nighttime. And now it's starting to get darker earlier. You know, I wasn't about to be delivering packages when it's dark outside either. So, that is about to start snowing. I think that's going to be the real challenge. Is delivering the packages when it's snowing outside. People don't shovel their driveways. I can tell you that. And they don't care if you fall either. Oh, I have to go through his site, his Facebook page, or does he have a website that you go through? But yeah, Mike, this is American Truck Simulator. I know you asked that earlier, but my mic was out at that point but yeah this is American Truck Simulator um man I think this game been out since 2015 I think this is about as close to simulation as you're gonna get driving a truck so well, I can't go back so I don't know where else. I don't, I don't know the, a detour I could have took, really. I guess go all the way up and around or down. No, that wouldn't have worked. But yep, this is the game, Mike, that made my YouTube channel about two years ago. I started streaming this, and as you know, man, it, it took off. Yeah, for those of you that are new to the channel, I do have a Patreon link um, in the description of this video. Uh, it gives you access to uh, different little things and perks. Um, also, if I do any giveaways, uh, they will be Patreon members only. So, uh, be sure to check the link out. Consider becoming a donor. That would be greatly appreciated. Think about doing a giveaway for... Thanksgiving for Christmas, like some gift card giveaways and stuff. Like I say, you got to be a patron donor in order to have access to those giveaways. Amazon is, like I said, it's not for everybody. Like I'm part of, um, I'm part of Amazon group on Facebook. Okay. Sorry, not that. Uh, I'm part of a transportation group on Facebook. When I was trucking, because I used to uh, be an over-road truck driver, on-the-road truck driver, whatever. Um, and they were talking about Amazon, UPS, and FedEx. And a lot of people were saying that, you know, FedEx and UPS were good um, and easier than Amazon. You know that UPS and FedEx was better than Amazon so I mean not to scare you or anything but um, you know it is what it is um I would do Amazon again through flex I will do I would be an Amazon flex driver if I could get back on with them in that way 
I'd rather do it that way. It's only three, four hour shifts. You know, it's pretty much you doing the exact same thing that you would do if you're delivering packages for 10 hours. You know, so if I could get into the Flex app and do it that way, I would, hands down. I wouldn't even think twice about it. Uh, yes, I do have a CDL. I have a Class B. Oh, you think it was 2016? I, I, hey, maybe it was. Maybe it was. I thought it was um, yet to find me a, a, some scissors. Never mind, that's over here. Yeah, but is I heard that UPS though that they start you off seasonal. I mean that will work for me in a sense, but again, it all goes back to the shift. You know, the hours, you know, they just don't fit with my schedule at home, you know. Oh, the can't work T six eighty? Is that the um the SCS can work. Um, I make about well today. I didn't really work much. Uh, I really only did schedule pickups, but um, I can usually make if I do a good um, eight hours. I can usually make about hundred fifty, two hundred dollars. Spike it is. I'm not sure if it's I don't know what it is, man. I think I'm still in the beta. For real, for real. Okay, Mr. Mr. Sado, you said that's ground, not express. only tip I have is try to find a school or something that will sponsor you because if they sponsor you then they pretty much cover about 90% of your CDL cost so like are you trying to go for your class A or your class B But yeah, like I say, you know, I'll do Amazon through Flex. You know, I could, you know, I could pick a shift, work two, three hours a day, and be done. You know, I just can't do no ten-hour shift. You know, which is why I like working, you know, Uber and Lyft because I get to choose my own schedule. You know, like today, I really only work. Um, I really only worked eight in the morning until twelve. Worked eight in the morning to noon, so four hours. Made about. He gonna hit me. I thought he was going to. It made like a hundred bucks. So. Oh, you try to get a class A? Yeah, I am going to opt out of beta. I thought I, well, 
I can't say I thought I did because I know I did. But I guess I thought the game would automatically update. So yeah, I would say that um, if you're going for your class A, find a trucking school that will bring you on. Like, you know, CR England, um, Prime. Um, try to think of the other companies that are out there. Yeah, CR England, Prime. Um, oh man, I can't think of the one company. Um, they're out there though. Uh, night transportation maybe. Um, that's not what I was trying to say, but you know those schools they'll sponsor you and bring you on as long as you commit to working with them for like nine months to a year. Like they'll pay for your, like I said, they'll pay for about ninety percent of your CDL cost. You know, as long as you stay with them for a year. Now, if you don't, you have to pay that back. So, you know, do keep that in mind. No. As far as I know, they will not do that. As far as I know, Amazon Prime will not pay for your CDL. Like me, I got my class B through a school district. In Arizona, um, they paid for my CDL training. I drove with them for one year. That's all they asked for. And that's all I gave to them. After that year, I, I was allowed to go anywhere else. Might need gas. I'm pretty sure I do. So instead of stopping over there, I'm gonna stop at the gas station. I'm pretty sure I need gas. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go in this way. They don't like you going in this way, but. Carter, pick one, please. Oh, uh, I drove for a school district in Arizona. I said I did that for a year. And after that, that was it. I never looked back and haven't looked back since. Um, and then I drove uh, trucks over the road. Um, you know, I drove the Sprinter vans over the road. Um, I was going to get into doing the... Uh, I was, I was going to get into doing the... The box trucks, the straight trucks, but uh, I don't know what made me not do that. But uh, I kind of wish I would have sometimes, you know. Now, now that's one job I I always miss. So in the game, I swear these merge the highway ramps are so short. Well, this is ATS art gamer, so they do a lot of weird stuff in this game. For sure. No, I did not drive 53 foot trailers. No, nope. I could. I drove a straight. I like I drove a straight truck. Um, you know, just to see how I would like it. But I could drive up to a Greyhound bus, and that's like that's probably one of my dream jobs. Is if I could get my hands on driving for Greyhound. That would probably be the one dream job of mine. Cause I mind, I mean, I love traveling. I love traveling. I love going different places. 
and stuff like that. So, um, I definitely don't mind, you know, getting out there on the road and stuff. But yeah, definitely go through a school. Um, yeah, definitely go through a school. Otherwise, it's going to cost you a pretty good penny to flip the CDL cost yourself. To go through school and everything, it's going to cost you a lot. But if you go through a school and they pay for it, it should be a lot cheaper. Like I said, you just got to commit to driving with them. But then it also means you got to be out on the road three, four weeks at a time. A lot of people can't handle that. And it's not easy because I've done that. Stayed out three, four weeks at a time. It's not easy, man. It's not for everybody. Man, I lost my lighter. Carter. You see, you see a lighter in there, like a long lighter, a long lighter on top, check Nope, I have not done 18 wheeler. I don't have my class A, so I can't do it. And at this point, I don't know. No, I'm not ending it. I'm not ending it. I'm just taking a little break. What happened to that one? It needs to be refilled. You need to buy another one. Stay out of here too. Oh. Oh. But yeah, I don't have uh I don't have a class A so I can't do it. Okay. I'll still be here. Don't smoke that. I just had to take a little smoke break, but not that. I haven't done this in a while, man. I used to do streams, man. It used to be like, I remember one time I did a 16 hour stream on my old channel and got mad because YouTube only kept 12 hours of it. Normally, I do four hours of this ATS streaming, this American Truck Simulator, but I have to get back into that again. I haven't streamed really. Last time I streamed was like maybe three weeks ago. Um, I have to say part of it, Mike was probably nerves. Me being nervous. Um... I mean, I was nervous when I got my class B and I had to drive that school bus. I ain't gonna lie, I was nervous. Um, I didn't think I could handle driving something that big and I did it. But driving the semi is a totally different ball game, man. I, I, I wasn't sure if I could handle that. I wasn't sure if I could handle that. It's a black and mild. Some people can handle it. I have some friends, you know, through YouTube, Facebook, that, that are truckers in real life. They probably could say that they had the same nerves, but me, I don't know if I could do that. You know, and even if I wanted to do it, I don't know if I could do that now. 
uh, because like I said, you have to commit to being out for like four weeks at a time. I know I can't do that now. You know, family life is definitely in the way of that. So, you figure even if you're out three weeks a month, that's 36 weeks a year. You're only home for four weeks every year. So literally you're on the road for 11 months out of the year and you're home for just one month. You know. It's not really. Well, no, let me not say that. I'm sorry. You're, you're on the road for like nine months out of the year. And you're only home for like three. You know, it's just not. I mean, the money's there. Don't get me wrong, the money's there. I made plenty of money being over the road. You know, easily was bringing home a thousand dollars a week. But it's like, what do you sacrifice for that? You know, you could bring home a thousand, two thousand a week, but then you're sacrificing not seeing your family for eighty percent of the year. You know, it's not worth it. How do you steer the trailer? What do you mean by that? How do you steer the trailer? Does YouTube pay me to stream? Yeah. Well, I mean, it ain't much, but um, right now I probably make about eight, six to eight dollars a day on YouTube. Even if I don't upload anything, still make like six, eight dollars a day right now. My goal is to get, if I can get to like $30 a day, 30 40 dollars a day i probably would be doing a lot of stuff i'm doing now you know but I, i'm 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 working my way up there uh you know as i mentioned earlier i do patreon um patreon is another place where people donate at um you know they donate to the channel donate to the stream they go to patreon um they pay like three five dollars a month to support the channel so Well, good question, white man. I don't know. Uh, because I thought that... Let's see. I thought that um, this one would steer. Um, I don't think it has steerable axles. I could be wrong, but it just don't feel like that it does for some reason. But yeah, every now and then you'll see people donate through Super Chat, uh, which you'll see it sometimes pop up on the screen. Say so and so donated three, five dollars, whatever. I don't get that often though. Maybe I'm just not that big of a YouTuber yet, but I will one day for sure. So look like the so so it looks like it is steering a little bit. I don't know. I can't really tell. Yeah, they are steering. You see the wheels back there? So yeah, you pretty much have to. Um, the mod is in the Steam Workshop. So you pretty much go there, download it, or not download it. Just click subscribe, and you should be good.
Olá, olá. Olá, Felipe. Olá, senhor. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not much, but um, I make about like six to eight dollars a day on YouTube. So, regardless if I upload or not, I still make like six, eight dollars a day. Um, you know, which is why I offer people to donate to my Patreon my patreon page uh, because it helps um, it helps support the channel so which that's what I do when I do my giveaways if I do any gift card giveaways or anything like that it's like usually for patreon only members Okay, Joker face. You're part of this Patreon page. Yeah, that's another reason too, Mike, why people join other, you know, Patreon pages. You know, they offer content that's normally not available to the public. Hey, Brady, what's up? Must be with the update. I just realized that when I was uh, when I started the game today. Oh, okay. So not that long then. Yeah, I don't think I've subscribed to anybody's Patreon page yet. So what you been up to today, Joker Face? I know. I'm going to... Um, there is a couple YouTubers I've been meaning to do the same thing with. Uh, you know, subscribe to their um, Patreon links. Like Benzo Effect. He's definitely one I've been wanting to... Um, to support for sure um, I just always keep forgetting but you need to make you a patreon link
you know what though I can kind of agree with that um that's probably why I don't play as much because you know that I mean I done drove pretty much all of Idaho you know I usually do that within the first week of it being released you know so it's like I done done all of that now I'm just waiting for Colorado and then that'll get me back into the game for a little bit doctor's visit was like a regular checkup yeah I was gonna get his I haven't watched one of his live streams in a while though you know I just been working too late and then when I get home I'd be like knocked out like, today I had a relatively easy day like I said I only um I only did scheduled pickups so I didn't do too many pickups so I actually had a lot of downtime but usually I come in, I be ready to go to sleep. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, it's probably better to wait anyway. Cause even with me at almost twenty eight hundred subscribers, I only got one Patreon donor. And I don't even think that person visits my Patreon page. I mean I don't post there often. Um, I mean I guess when I get more Donors, I would, but you know, as of right now, I post every now and then. Like I said, you know, I got you know, patron only giveaways, but there's no point in doing a giveaway if there's only one person subscribed, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go to Walmart after this today. Uh, looking have to get a couple things. I need another controller. I need another Xbox controller because uh, I went to see my mom like a couple weeks ago, and my stepdad and I we always play football together. And I brought both of my controllers, thinking that they both work, and unfortunately. Um, the wired controller did quit working, so um, I have to buy one today. I already got my daughter a gift so far. Got my wife a gift. Got my daughter. Uh, she got an Echo Dot so far. She got an Echo Dot, and then Best Buy had it to where if you buy the Echo Dot, which was like nineteen dollars. You get the Bluetooth light bulb with it. So, so far I got her that. And I can't say what I got my wife because she can either A, be watching or B, listening. And I'm talking kind of loud, so she probably will be able to hear me. So, yeah, I need another controller. I always like to keep. I, I always like to keep three controllers, you know, two I play with and one backup, but I've been kind of slacking lately. Like, I got two PlayStation 4 controllers and one Xbox controller now. Um, I had two Xbox, I had three Xbox controllers, and like I said, the one quit working and the other one I lost the cord to, so... Yeah, I'm doing it early. The Black Friday deals are starting to come out now. And they've been having some good deals, man. Like, I'm kind of mad because I got my wife something for Christmas. And it was like... um, It was like 60 bucks, 70 bucks. I look on Best Buy website, $50 for the same thing. Kind of mad, but I'm not gonna return it now because I done already wrapped it up. So, oh yeah, she'll like it. 
for sure she will I wanted to use it myself I wanted to just buy it just to use it and I was like you know what I'm gonna have to wait man I'm gonna have to wait but I did when I went and got her gift I also got a griddle I'm not sure if you ever used the griddle but man we cooked steak on it last night man let me tell you that thing did some wonders I ain't never had steak so good because usually we make our steak in the oven but this time I put it on the griddle and we cooked our breakfast on there well it was for dinner but you know we had steak eggs and potatoes and I put all that on that on um, griddle man let me tell you that was some good stuff man some good stuff Wow, I did not see that car coming. I'm surprised I ain't hit him. Oh, you think about getting another computer? I thought about that. I thought about buying a laptop, a gaming laptop. Because I'm pretty satisfied with my computer right now. Um, I don't... I was thinking of doing some upgrades to it, but I'm like... I'm pretty satisfied with... The, with what I have now, you know, the only thing I'll upgrade is my monitors. Maybe, you know, get like, you know, so, because I have a 4K monitor. I thought about getting another 4K monitor, but other than that, I can't think of nothing else I upgrade. Maybe get a track IR, but I think that's the only, that's on my Christmas list, so I ain't trying to buy that yet, because the wife might buy it. So, other than that, I can't think of nothing else to get for this computer. So, like I said, I might. I thought about doing that too, getting a gaming laptop just to like. I don't know why I would get it for it because I would probably still do recording and live streams on the desktop, but I don't know. Yeah, well, I ended up using the griddle. It was by Oyster or Oster. Oster, Oyster. You still ain't built your computer yet? I thought for sure you'd have been on that, for sure. I probably stopped like right there somewhere. Yeah, you know what? I had wanted to put that on my Christmas list. A steering wheel, so I wanted to upgrade. I had a friend of mine that got like the G29. And I was telling myself, I said, oh, I'm gonna put that on the Christmas list. Um, but last year I tried to put that same thing on the Christmas list and I didn't get it. Even though I had boxes that looked like it could have been it and then it wasn't so uh yeah i kind of want to upgrade it myself not only that not just to get another wheel to upgrade but to have it as a backup because you never know technology is going to go out eventually you know this wheel you know and i don't want it to go out and i have nothing right then and there you know which is why i was excited when I found my wheel on um, Craigslist. I found my wheel on Craigslist, and then as soon as I bought it, one of my subscribers mailed me his wheel because he upgraded. So I had two wheels, 
And they both worked just fine, which was perfect because if one never messed up, I had one sitting right there. But then I ended up selling it because I needed the money, but. But yeah, you should build your computer, man. Um, there's, there was a few times there where I seen pre built at like Best Buy that I thought was a good deal. Now granted, it, 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 they're probably still cheaping out somewhere in the parts. But there was some pre builds that I ran every, that I seen every now and then that I was like, you know, this is not a bad buy. You know, I'd buy it myself if I had the money. But, you know, you got to be, for the most part, man, if you could build it yourself, you could spend the same amount of money and get better parts, you know. I mean, especially now, like, with Best Buy, you get these pre-built computers, they don't even have a lot of storage, you know. I mean, you get a $700 computer from them, some of them only got, like, 256 gigs of SSD don't even have a terabyte hard drive you know and with me I have a 2 terabyte hard drive and two 500 gig SSDs you know and that's sufficient enough for me and I don't even use the 2 terabyte hard drive it's just sitting there you know I don't I don't have anything downloaded on that. It still has the full amount of storage on there. Yeah, I might find something at Walmart to snag. But yeah, I didn't tell you, Joker Face. Uh, so you know I had got that new car. I got the new car. And not even a day before I started lifting Uber, my neighbor hits the passenger side of my car when it was parked. Um, Cause I have to park in the street. I mean, I don't have to, but um, I park in the street so that my neighbors upstairs don't have to bother me every time to be let out. So I'll just park in the street. And well, this must have happened at nighttime, and she must have pulled in too close, and she bumped the side of the car. So now my, the front passenger door um, doesn't open all the way. So. I uh, only found out about it because the next day there was a note on the car saying that they hit it. Um, and then they would help pay for it. So originally, I, I you know, I went ahead and I got an estimate. And it was like $1,800 to get it fixed. So I'm like, there's no way that she's going to pay $1,800, you know, in a fast enough or, or in a efficient enough time, I guess. Um, she, cause she was, cause she's only 18. She just had a baby. I'm like, there's no way she's going to give me $1,800, you know, in, in a sufficient enough time because I'm not trying to have you give me $200 a week, you know, and take two, three months before I can even get it fixed. Um, but she handled it like a champ. She came up to me cause originally we, we were going to go through insurance because she didn't have the money. I, I, well, I figured she wasn't going to have the money. I'm not trying to wait two, three months to get it fixed. I was trying to get her insurance info. She was persistent not to give it to me. I was kind of getting upset by that. And I was thinking that I was thinking I was going to have to call the police to have them go get the info from her and all this stuff. But no, she handled it because she said, hey, I tell you what, I will pay for it. Just let me know how much it is. That'd be that. I told her how much it was. She paid me um, in two separate weeks. She just paid me her last little bit this week. She paid most of it last week, and she was on it. 
You know, she paid most of it the first week and gave me the rest of the day. I'm like, and I had to tell her. I had to tell her. I said, I am thankful that you handled it the way you did. I said, because originally I wasn't for, um, I wasn't for you paying me in cash because I had a feeling that you weren't going to pay me in a timely manner. But I said, you handled it pretty well, you know, and, you know, I, I, I thanked her, you know, and I don't want no animosity because, you know, I live next to them, you know, and I got to be here for a while. And I don't want to have no animosity after you just gave me two, two grand for my car, you know, because she didn't want to go through insurance. I didn't want to go through insurance because it would raise both of our, you know, insurance rates up, which would be good for nobody. So... Your pizza is hot. You ordered pizza? Or did you make it? Wasn't sure if he's gonna let me in, but I guess he did let me in. What kind of pizza you have? Yeah, that's pretty much um, it's pretty much the, the gist of that story. Um, so now I have to look at trying to get it fixed. Um, I was gonna go through my mechanic, but the problem is, is that part of getting the door fixed um, requires for the bumper to be replaced because everything got pushed back. So that's the reason why the door is not opening all the way. Because now when I open the door, it's pushing up against the frame of the hood. So, I need to replace all that. And I was going to have my mechanic do it. But we can't find a junkyard here that has a bumper. No junkyard here even has my car. So, I'm trying to figure out what to do. Because I guarantee you, I'm going to be coming out of the pocket of something. Because if I go through um, Gerber which is uh, who I got the estimate from. Um, even though they had an estimate of 1800, it's probably gonna be more, you know, so. Oh, you got your pizza from Pizza Hut? Our Pizza Hut's closed. They just closed like a couple months ago. We ain't got none of them here no more. What'd you get? Like, what kind of pizza did you get? Oh, yeah, Joker Face. I'm telling you, I was heated. Because I was just about to start doing Lyft and Uber, and I thought that was going to mess it up, you know? I was so upset. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Like I said she handled it. I mean, it's still not fixed, but we try to figure it out now. So you only got cheese pizza. You didn't get nothing else. Yeah, I don't know what I'm getting. Um, my wife wants a subway sub, which. That may or may not happen. I don't know. I don't know what I want for dinner tonight at all. I was going to have a burger. Fix one on the um, griddle, but... I don't know yet. No. Not only that, most people wouldn't even left that note. And... Because originally I was upset that morning. But my wife was the one that found out first. And she had to take my daughter to school. And she called me and told me, hey, you need to come out here when I come back. Because they left a note on the door saying that they hit you. And I was initially upset. But then I was like, you know what? The one good thing out of this is that she did leave a note. Because she could have easily, because this happened when I was asleep. She could have done that and would have never said anything. And then I would have been stuck with having to pay it, you know. 
Oh, um, yes, yeah, she had to. I said she paid me the damages. You know, now it's up to me, honestly, what I do with the money. I'm gonna get the door fixed, but I'm gonna see if I can find it somewhere cheaper. Um, because I was trying to get estimates from different places, but she just wanted me to her to get it out the way, you know. She didn't care what the estimate was, she just wanted it to her to be done. So, so okay, it's $1,800. Showed her the proof, and said two weeks later I was paid. So, said she was only 18. I said I was surprised because I did not expect it. You know, I'm still surprised by it because that could have went south quick, you know. If she was any different of a person and I was any different of a person, that whole situation could have just went south, you know. But I'm glad she did because like I said, at the end of the day, we got to live together as neighbors, you know. If we can't coexist as neighbors, and not only are we neighbors, but we both have the same landlord, you know. So it's like, we got to coexist even more than regular neighbors, you know. Yeah, she did. She did. I can't complain. I talked to her for a little bit today, but I am not complaining about it at all. You don't have Matt at 21 Joker face, do you? I didn't think she was. I thought she was like a little bit younger than me. But then once I seen her up close, I'm like, yeah, she's definitely 18. She she looks as young as she can look, I guess. Okay, I don't know why I thought you might have had it. I've been trying to find a new game to get for Steam, um, or maybe fire up Farm Sim 19 again. I don't know. I've been trying to find something else to play, you know. Um, I see the new Spider-Man is supposed to be coming out. Um, think like November 13th. I thought about pre-ordering that just to try something different, you know. Everybody keep wanting me to do Call of Duty. I'm just not into that to buy it. So I was going to get NBA 2K21, but I heard a lot of bad reviews on that, so kind of holding off on that but yeah if you got any suggestions for games or anybody just let me know because I'm definitely trying to find something new to play my horn ain't working for some reason I don't know why Yeah, I got Farm Sim 19. I just, I just haven't fired it up. I said I want to try something different. You know, I mean, ATS is not really something that I can play every day, not anymore. You know. Depend on what it is. I mean, I have Dead by Daylight. I just 
have it installed it. But yeah, I was eyeing I was eyeing that um so I was eyeing that Spider Man. That's something I never really played before. Um, I was going to pre-order Hitman 3. That comes out January. That's why I kind of wanted to go to Walmart to see what they got. I mean, that's probably not the best place to go for games, but... And I probably won't buy nothing from there, because I'd rather go to GameStop. But... Plasmophobia, people that scared of plasma or blood. Oh, phasmophobia. I thought they said plasma. Okay. Yeah, I might have to look into it. They said, I want to try new things. I want to try new games. Just can't find that one that hits at home, you know. Hey, Gail, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Yeah, I agree. I was um I was trying to take advantage of that sale too. And I was mad because uh I was able to get uh I don't think I was able to get anything during that sale. Actually, no yeah I did. I bought Mat twenty one because it was thirty nine ninety nine. And I bought that and I had every intention of coming back the next day to buy another game and then I totally forgot about it. Oh, that's good, Gail. What you up to for tonight? You haven't even thought about Christmas. I haven't either up until I went to Target. And then they had a couple good good deals. I said, you know what? I might as well get this now for her because um, if I wait, it's going to go up in price and I'm going to be upset myself. So. I'll probably end up picking up something else again from Walmart. Um, if it's for either one of them, I just don't have to be sneaky about it. I have to be, you know, covert about it. But otherwise, probably going to buy something. I don't know. Probably buy something for dinner. That's what's going to end up being. Uh, 
Utah. We are in Utah. We are in Utah. I'm headed to Selena. Selena. I am right outside of it, actually. Actually, right outside of Cedar City. So, I only got like 91 more miles left. You're in Arizona? Don't you say you was in Idaho? Oh no, Gail, I'm just asking, uh, what are you doing for this evening? Oh, okay. So you got like multiple profiles there. Arizona, you got any map mods installed? Been the last little stretch of my run here. said Dateland, Arizona. I just thought that was part of the map mod. They say it enough. Get out of here. Okay, you, what you want as far as what a game?
Yeah, same here. Uh, mostly older games, but I just gotta go through it, you know. Oh, uh, what did she get you? that was going to end very badly for me on that ramp. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. You're not even 18 yet. Slowly, slowly. There's been a lot of good deals. When I catch them, I usually try to get stuff. Going to Walmart today to kind of scope out some things, too. Like I said, I have my wife and my daughter with me, so um, I have to kind of do it covertly if I do get any of them something. Need to get some stocking stuffers though. Show a little knick-knack patty patty wax. Put it in the stuffers. Put it in the stockings. Hey, that's good, man. I don't even have a credit card. Never had one. Well, no, I might have had one. I don't know. If I had one, it's been years ago. Oh, you just need to get two more things and then you already done shopping? What's up, team man? How you doing? Everybody's doing good over here, man. How you been? Okay. Yeah, Red Dead 2.
uh, you into Fortnite. I have Fortnite for Xbox. I have not played it since it came with the system. Yeah, I got Red Dead 2 for Xbox also. I haven't played that either. My wife played it, I don't play it. This is a game made by Rockstar. Uh, it's like a Western style type setting. Like a, I always say it's like the modern version of like Oregon Settler. If you ever played that on the um, on your phone, it, it almost reminds me of a modern day version of that. Oh, I never played it, so that gives you an idea. I've never played it. The only reason I have it because it came with the Xbox when I bought it, but I've never played it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I don't I tried to get it to like PUBG. Like I had PUBG for like Xbox and it'd be some lethal people playing on there, man. I I I, I could never get past like the first ten people to die, you know. You got people that are pros at that, they play tournaments and stuff. Me, see, like, I get shot as soon as I land on the ground. Yeah, it's a good storyline. I agree with that. It's definitely a good storyline. We figure Fortnite and PUBG is pretty much the same concept. Just the animated version of it, you know. strong yeah I say I don't know much about Fortnite I barely know much about PUBG other than the fact that I keep losing No, you fine. You fine. I haven't took mines yet. I'm gonna take it when, as soon as I come back from Walmart. That's for sure. I, I, I you know, like I say usually I come home about 3:30, 4 o'clock. I'd be ready to go to sleep, but I didn't do much today. I didn't have a lot of, uh, I didn't have a lot of pickups today, so I wasn't tired. But all right, folks, that will do it for this live stream. Uh, for those of you that want to, uh, you can always contact me outside of YouTube. I have a Facebook link um, in the description below as far as my Steam profile link. Um, I add everybody, so uh, you, don't always have, you don't always have to wait for me to come on here. 
to talk to me because as you see I don't stream often but nonetheless it is what it is um, I can't say when I will come back to streaming again oh you know I work tomorrow Saturday I have the appointment at the car dealer to try to get my lower motor fixed in my car because my AC or heat doesn't come on at least not often so oh um, so you know I might come back Saturday for sure uh, maybe I would appreciate that no problem man everything is just so weird right now with this world and this pandemic and the election and who knows who's going to win? They're still counting. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, check that link out too. Check it out. Go ahead and check out for now though. Go ahead and take care of a few things. Like I said, I'm gonna try to come back Saturday though. For sure. I will try and come back Saturday. Yeah, catch up with me then. It's, it's gonna be American Trust Simulator as always, so 